guys good afternoon welcome back to another video in today's video i'm really excited because we're gonna be doing a shop with me i guess but this is a store that i feel i don't hear much about this year i want to make videos about stores that are i don't want to say underrated but stores that just don't get recognition yet either because they're new or nobody's really heard about them they're not really popping but they should be popping so or maybe i'm just the one who's not in the loop so today i'm here at paint a tree paint a tree the way i would describe it is a store that has a lot of mini stores inside of it like there's a bunch of stores in there you can shop how do i i feel like i'm not explaining it well it's a it's it's one big store but there's a lot of little stores inside of it there's stores of all kinds of things there's not it's not just limited to like paint a tree is only sells furniture no it's all kinds of things there's clothes there's food there's stickers there's clothes did i say clothes already <laughs> they have all kinds of goodies and i'm so excited to make this video today because i just want to give more recognition to paint a tree i really love this place it's really pretty um uh, i believe there's one in houston i know i went to that one and there's one in katie so let's go in and let me show you guys around and let me just say this if you want to go to paint a tree be patient go by yourself if you have your boyfriend with you don't go with him okay you need to go by yourself you're gonna, you're gonna be in there for a while there's a lot to look at it's a lot to look at it's a little overwhelming because the store is big as well i know in houston the store is big and in katie the store is big as well the store is big okay i know that the houston location for a fact does not get the love i feel it deserves because i always pass by there and it's always empty maybe the people in houston haven't heard about painted tree that's out but it's a really cool store if you want to shop for something that's not selling everywhere and it's unique let me show you guys how they would describe their store an etsy marketplace and pinterest catalog come to life yeah that's a good way i would describe it painted tree boutiques is a retail shopping experience specializing in gifts home decor and boutique clothing while championing thousands of people to live out their entrepreneurial dreams okay and they started in 2015 okay in arkansas huh so that's pretty neat let's go in let's show some love let's support and check out if you have a painted tree near you so this is what painted tree logo looks like it's really pretty all right let's go in okay so they have christmas stuff out i'm not sure oh 75 percent off oh my goodness okay Ooh, let's see if we can get some goodies so far i really like this one this is really cute mm. balsam and cedar cute i love anything balsam or cedar off the bat we come in and we see that there's christmas stuff you know ob obviously everything's subject to change because the seasons change so here up front of course it would make sense to put the christmas stuff since it is obviously january and they're trying to get rid of this so let's see if we maybe score some christmas goodies but yeah this is what it looks like so far super cute the entrance i like this fluffy white christmas tree but let's see ten dollars and with the 75 percent off sale obviously it's gonna be way cheaper than that it says all christmas items 75 percent tell your cashier don't forget to tell your cashier now it doesn't seem like they really have any christmas stuff i think all the good christmas stuff is gone when it comes to being in a big store like this you have to kind of head on your way and decide which ways you want to go so you don't go back to the same place so i kind of want to start in the outer areas and then go around like a little maze and just go around the outer areas and then get closer to the in inner area and then close out in the center if that makes sense so let's do that so let's start over here nazar nazar i like that okay it sounds cute this is really pretty i know you guys love buying things for the evil eyes so this might be something for you that is actually really pretty i like that i like the details okay all colors shapes and sizes as you guys can see i love 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 the blues wow i 
I actually like this one. This one's calling. I just saw this from the corner of my eye and this one is really, really pretty. How much is this? $15. Now, that is another thing that I'm not sure if I mentioned, but this is like a bougie place to shop from. The small businesses here are not cheap, okay? Just a heads up. I believe they're all the same price. $15 there, yeah. This one's really pretty. I also like this blue one right here. This one's really pretty. This one's $15 as well. And I always love the aesthetic. Every shop, so like every little corner is a shop, as you guys can see. You know, that's a shop, that's a shop. Every little corner is a shop. And that every shop can pick their own aesthetic. I love that for them. And I love to see how creative they get. You guys will see a lot of corners get very creative. Once again, that's the shop. Handcrafted Turkish Goods from turkey okay marissa marissa <laughs> why can't i speak english <laughs> marissa b boutique established 2022 so last year right away this dark green is really pretty this jacket or coat whatever you want to call it 60 dollars none of these are really calling my name but i do want to show you guys real quick that dress could be cute Ooh, how about this? Is this like a set? This looks cute. This is like a little set, as you guys can see. I like this. See, I haven't wanted to get like shirts like this with a little more, how much is this one? A little more cleavage. $45. <laughs> and they do have hats right there. And they have a mirror, so you can check yourself out if you decided to try clothes on here. But I have good news for you. You can try clothes on at the fitting rooms. They do have fitting rooms here, and I love that, love that, love that. So you can just put the stuff that you want in the cart, and when you're done looking at the whole store, you can go to the fitting room, which is by the entrance. So. Yeah, they provided you a mirror if you wanted to try on a jacket. You know, you don't need a, a fitting room to try on a jacket. Cute, simple, quick. <laughs> Dogs under a Christmas tree. And these are kitchen napkins or kitchen... Why can't I speak English? I promise, when I get on the camera, I'm like, what are words? But I'm pretty sure you guys... Napkins. No, these are not napkins. What are these called? Uh, how can I forget English? <laughs> I don't know y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. All the doggies, where's the golden retrievers? Where's the golden retrievers? Let me see. Oh, guys, I wanna get a puppy so bad and I want a puppy like that. I want a puppy like that. Where are the golden retrievers? Oh, there you are. Oh, it looks just like Hunter and Fisher. If you guys don't know, Hunter and Fisher are my golden retrievers that I grew up with. These dogs are so cute. And they have all the breeds, so you can't tell me they don't have your dog on here, okay? Because they do. Now to be honest with you guys, as we start getting further into the video, I'm not gonna be showing every single thing because that would just be too much and I will be here forever. But I just wanna show you guys what I like and what I think you guys would like. They have this champagne and sage, as you guys can see up there. That's the name of their little store. All right, y'all, hold on because somebody went over there. So let's just respect them and go to another area. They have pajama pants as well. Show love to your doggy. They have pajama pants for all of the breeds. Kitchen towels, that's what they're called. <laughs> I only got that because it says it on the top. <laughs> Look, they're so cute. And they all have cute little words to them. Love it. Where's the golden retriever? You know I'm gonna support the golden retriever. Where's the golden? Oh, I don't see him. I don't see the golden there. But they have all the breeds, I'm telling you. So if you're a dog lover, check the store out. It's called Crafty Canine. Oh, this is so funny because Fisher specifically, he will do this. He will pretend he hasn't ate and my mom will feed him twice. She's done that a couple times. The so dog's been fed. Don't believe their bullshit. <laughs> For real. They have collars, Christmas collars, fruits, sports. Oh, this one's so cute. Oh, this one's beautiful. I like this one a lot. This one's really cute. I bet my mom would like that. 
glitter, patterns, bunnies, everything you can think of they have. Bandanas, ornaments when it was Christmas or if you want to prepare for the following Christmas. Look, look at these ornaments. Come on now. Come on now. They got it. More PJs. And you guessed it, socks. Socks galore. Look at all these socks. I should get up here. And they have mugs. Okay, stop playing. Pictures. Bows. More bandanas. And they have pictures. Oh, I love that they have pictures. That is so cute. Look at all these doggies. And you can get hats for yourself. You're a dog mom. Embrace it. Embrace it. So cute. So yeah. Make sure you guys check out this store if you're a dog lover. Alright. Back to the mission. So they have the champagne and sage as, you, as I told you guys. And you guys can find them on Instagram. I told you guys they promote themselves a lot, which I love. They should definitely promote. This store right here is not my style, but I believe if you're like an early mom, or even if not, they have stuff for the girlies too. Okay, look. I like that. I love, love that red. Little purses to where you can put your ID. But I mean, look at all these options. And they have jewelry as well. Look at this. Earrings, bracelets, more earrings, festive earrings at that. They also have nacimientos. How do you say this in English? Um, what do you guys call them? I hope it says it somewhere. Oh, I don't see. But you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to say this in English. Uh, I don't think I learned that word, but I don't know what it's called, but you guys see with your eyes what this is, okay? <laughs> so, if you're interested in any of this, check out the Glorious Shop. And I'm not sure if they have anything to promote themselves besides if I see it, oh, oh, maybe right here. Oh, right here. Glorious products. I love the card. It's so pretty. Crosses. Oh, you know what? I need. I need one of these because the one that my mom gave me when my grandpa died and broke, which I don't know if I should. I don't. I definitely don't want to get rid of it. But should I get another one? I'm not sure. This one is thirty dollars. And it is a red, it says Jerusalem. And if you celebrate Hanukkah, they also have the things for that. What is this? Healing cream, they have healing creams. They have holy water too. River Jordan, honestly, I might get some holy water. I'm not even joking, seriously, $13 for holy water. River Jordan holy water, $7. I feel like we should all keep holy water with us, to be honest. Little crosses. Prayer crosses back there. They have several candle shops throughout. I'm not sure what the name of this store is called. I'm not sure if it is Mardi Gras or if that's just the picture there. Uh, let me see. I don't see anything. Maybe it is Mardi Gras, I don't know. I'm not sure. But they have a lot of candles. Be on the lookout because a lot of stores have sales right now. I want to get a candle from here eventually. Not the specific store, I'm just saying in general. But they are very pricey, I will say that. Let's see how much is this one. It doesn't say. Arlene's Home Fragrance. $32, so more expensive than a Bath & Body Works candle, so is it worth the price? You decide. Yeah.
over 50 years. Everything is over 50 years old. A lot of it's 100 years old. You know? Like these here, I made uh, women's short little uh, bicycle jackets for J.C. Penny. Oh! Out of denim. And these were the buttons, the closures on them. Okay. You know? So now people take them and put them by their jeans. Right, right. Pockets. Remember we were talking about that last yeah, time? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. This is the button I bought. Remember, I bought that. I remember this button because oh, yeah? it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I just sold a few of those buttons. Just They're so pretty. Yeah. Did I have my cart here when you were? Yeah, you gave it to me. Look at all the buttons. Yes, plenty of buttons. Huh? I still have boxes I didn't open. Buttons are small art. Take a good look at them. What they are, the workmanship on it is unbelievable. In Let's fact, see. I have some that are handmade. That are handmade? Wow. Yeah, there's certain buttons. Well, you know what it is. Years ago, they could have done it because the labor cost them nothing, you know. And they, they made a lot of stuff by hand. Uh, if I could find it. Well, I'm glad you're still here. I'm so happy to yeah, see you again. Uh, look at these. Feel that. These are heavy. Yeah. These feel heavy. Oh, this is pretty. I like these. Yeah, those these are, are really nice. nice. Oh, yeah. They're, I mean, they all have its own charm. Right. I like the details on the yeah. buttons. The details are unbelievable on most of the buttons. And it's like I say, it's small art. And they're unique, really. They, I don't think I've unique. seen... They're unique. They don't make them anymore. Right. You know? and, oh, these are nice. These are two-piece buttons. I have to snap them together. And they're from Paris, France. I don't know and how you remember where they came from. Well, you know, I, I open up boxes and it says on it, <gasps> Made in Paris, France, you know. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, these are these I like these. These are a lot of if you take a look close, it's art. You know? And I have to snap them together. See this clear part is mm -hmm. separate. You know? So but beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. I love the detail on that one. Yeah. I love anything gold really. Yeah, yeah. They have the Starbucks cup look alike from this the Envy Loft place, but you know, you can literally just put like a Starbucks sticker and make it work. Who cares? How much is this one? $20. Okay. Pricey. So, the stores that I'm not going to go through, I just want to make like a quick glance video so you guys can at least see that. show you guys my toes because I'm not done but these green shoes right here oh dang these uh, are coming home with me okay $28 sold they have an area where they sell makeup small brands I believe more keychains they have a lot of keychains here you guys and they also have a lot of croc charms Jib, jibbits? Jisbit? I don't even know. 
I don't even know what they're called. Oh, look at this Chick-fil-A. That's so cute. That one's cute. How much is this one? This one's $8. Really not bad compared to how much the Croc website sells their gibbets for. Buckets. This is the back area of Painted Tree with this beautiful Painted Tree logo. I love it right here. So pretty. I love hearing the water. This is new. Last time I came here, they were making two shops right here. But I guess this is like a little cafe area. Okay. Outside of the bathroom, you can lounge in here. So if your husband's here, you can just come here and chill. I can go to the bathroom, take care of business. And you can follow Painted Tree on social media. I forgot to mention that they do have food and spices that they sell throughout. This place is called the Pit Stop. They have all kinds of stuff, okay? Pica Treats Ramirez. He has his ad on there. I love that. Salsa Verde, caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, all sauces they got. Jalapenos, pickles, mangoes. Look at this cute purse. It reminds me of something I used to play when I was younger, but I can't remember the name. So this area that I'm at, which is the other side of where we were when we came in, is a bunch of stores, clothing stores to be exact. They have baby clothes, adult clothes. Look at this cute little purse for your daughter, Loki. This could be my purse. <laughs> I'm kidding. But it's cute. I love the details. Look, I like the phone. What's making that noise? Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> what? Where did that even come from? Okay, that was spooky. I just wanted to get that on camera. What the heck? I felt like it sounded like it was coming from here. Who's whistling at me? I don't even know, man. I don't. What just happened? Okay. Check out these ribbons, though. Okay, again? Where is it? Now I'm determined. Where is the whistling coming from? I feel like I'm being haunted right now or something. What is this? I bet my mom would like that. I don't know where it's coming from. Is it this frog? Oh my god. That's scary. Is it a frog that whistles? What kind of frog? Frog. I don't know, it looks like a camera. I don't even know frog, listen. Ah, at least I found it. Ha! Ah. That makes no sense. How does this frog whistle when it sounds like that little bear? You know those bears when you were young, when you push them in, it makes that sound? So I'm like, I'm looking for this bear, but I don't see anything that's bear-like in this area. So I was confused. It's the frog camera. Never seen a frog camera before. Chewy Vuitton. <laughs> that's funny. Look, Chewy Vuitton. Deck your dog out and get them Chewy Vuitton. You can get them everything Chewy Vuitton. Food, water, Chewy Vuitton. <laughs> Look, they have a 20% sale. All right, y'all, let's try on some glasses. These are $19.95 with 20% off. I don't know. You do the math. Let's see. No. Hey! Hey, fancy <laughs> meeting you here. <laughs> I'm just looking at the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> you leaving? Yeah. Okay. It only takes so much of it. I know. See you later. Yeah. These are kind of cute. These have potential. They fit my... I wish I could see this without this tag. I wish the tag was somewhere else because it's hard to imagine. Let's keep looking. How about these bead-like glasses? Let's see. Oh my goodness. They can't even stay on me. <laughs> my head's so little, y'all. These are kind of cute. Nah. Kind of want to get a pair, though. Okay. What do we think? I like. Do you like? Man. You talking to me? These are cute. I gotta take a selfie to see if it really passes the selfie test. Okay, but these are really big. These are really, really big. For my small head and face, no. These are really cute. I love the detail right here. Oops. These have 
potential, but no. These have potential. Now, I don't want to hear y'all say anything in the comments talking about Sophia, you should have got them, blah, blah, blah. Like, girl, I know, but it's only so much I can, I can buy, okay? And this is why you don't go out. I haven't gone out this whole January, besides getting food. I haven't really gone out to buy anything. And I've been saving a lot of money, but here we are today. So they have all of this for selection. These are not as cute as the ones on the display. So maybe let me see the other side. I think this side has the cuter glasses. Mm. But I don't even need glasses, so let's not lie. Let's keep going, let's save some money, let's make good decisions. Look at these doggy bowls. These are so cute. How much are they? If only I had a dog. I'm telling you, I'm going to get what, $55? Okay. Okay. All right now. I want to look at those PJs right there because they kind of look like the ones from Target. But do they feel Target material? Let's see. They don't feel Target material. They feel a little more rough than that, but these are made from bamboo. And they're not really, they're not rough, but they're not as soft as the one from Target. And these are $70, uh, okay. In their defense, they're made from bamboo. I guess, uh, I don't know. I'm still just gonna shop Target, cause that is crazy. The first time I came to this painted tree, I bought one of them, one of these, and they were, I think, 70 or six, seven, I don't know, I think $70. This one's so cute. So this is kind of the one I have at home, but I will say these are pricey. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my goodness. What are they doing, bro? Let's see how much this one is. The one that I got is really, really unique, I feel, because they had a bird. So this one's $43, not bad. I love it, it's beautiful. Oh my God, I need to be careful. You see how everything started shaking? I don't want to break this. Okay. And see, that's what you do. You put your plants on it. I love it. You guys need to check out the original pot head. I love this place. Not cheap, but definitely unique pieces for your plants. Oh, I mean, just look at it. It's so beautiful. Who can resist? They have some crystals for my crystal ladies. Y'all know we got everything in the store. Check out these crystals. They even have rose quartz. How much is this one? It doesn't say the price, I don't know. But they have options now. Crocodile Jasper, okay. White sage, they have sage. A lot of clothing stores on this side. I'm just not really interested, so that's why we're just passing by it. But a lot of candles as well, so the smells here are immaculate. Whenever I get a table, which who knows when, whenever I get a table, I definitely wanna get like a big candle like that and put it in the center. This has always been here. Last time I was here, they had this. It's like a little candy area. Do you want a snack? It's good business. Frambles and goose. They got Mexican candy, regular candy, icy candy. Oh, and by the way, you guessed it. This is the dressing room. Remember I told you guys by the entrance? We are by the entrance again. So this is where you pay right here. And this is the entrance right when you leave over there. And you're good. All right, remember what I told you guys? We're going from out to in. So this is the first in we're going to go into. Pop it. $2 each. You can get them for your kids for Valentine's Day or... If you have anxiety, I don't know. I don't know about anything about those pop it. I've never tried it, so. Dog mom stuff, Selena. All right. <laughs> Off the bat, the first thing I see is, you know it, Yoda. Y'all see Yoda right there? 25% off the entire shop. Let's look around just because kitchen stuff can be expensive, so maybe we find something that we like. I probably don't even need anything for the kitchen. I honestly don't even have any space to put my kitchen stuff. Just this. $15. Oh look! 
Some watches. Obviously, they're not real. Obviously. I feel like I didn't even need to say that. But look at these. This one's really pretty. I like this butterfly right here. It's really pretty. Now, I'm not sure what the store is called, but just wanted to show you guys. I kind of want to get like a Sharpa hat. Let me try these on. Let me get, y'all know, if you guys want to get something that's not been touched, get the one at the bottom. Nine times out of ten, it hasn't been touched. Oh my God, my head's too small for this. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Fail. Oh, look, Loteria. If you're Latino, you know Loteria. Small bingo game. Oh my god. Should I get Loteria? I don't know. Let me know if y'all should get Loteria. Why are these so tiny? These are so cute. Look at this big Loteria. How much is the big Loteria? Oh, $8? Hey, that's not bad. Oh, with the Mexican flag. That's cute. Where's the Venezuelan flag? Where's the other countries? That could have been some money maker right there. They have lamps. Ooh, look at these cute shoes. Look at the details. Oh, let's see if they have my size. 37. Uh oh, I'm nervous, y'all. What if they don't have my size? They don't have my size. That should be for the best. Let's see. What is this one? 37. Damn it. Let me show you guys for reference if you're interested. They have these too. These are cute, but I feel like they sell these everywhere. Kimberly's. Ooh, I like this right here. It's the greens that's calling me. If you're Latino, they have a bunch of, you know, Hispanic stuff. That one's kind of cute, I like that one. Let's see if that one was my size. Let's look at that in a second. These are the same ones as, as the other place, okay. Let's not eat. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, and then a bunch of hats. Look at these backpacks. I know you guys have seen somebody wear these backpacks at least once in your life. They have more. Is this is Pikachu. Pika, Pikachu. <laughs> what is this? Who is this? I don't know who this is. I think this is the first time I've seen this. They have bedding stuff. I can't imagine how much it is. Oh, actually it says, wow, four piece. Oh wow, in store you can get it for $50. That's crazy, let me see. Cause I am in disbelief. Wow, that's crazy, okay, okay. Smile, you're on camera. And these are not ugly either. These are really pretty. I like that one. And look, the prices are the prices are nice. I like that one. I like that one too. That one's really pretty. These are really pretty. You can also feel the material, so feel how soft. Hey, it is soft. Alright, then it's the sticker station. Oh look, wait, before we do that, before we look over there, look at these hair clips. All right, let's see what it says. Talk to me, Goose Squad. Well, shit. I like these right here. These are really pretty. Oh, coffee I need. Oh, how much is this one? $3, okay, for a sticker, y'all are out of your minds. But I like, look at these. And the store is K plus Co. They also have cards for someone on their birthday or any other event. If you can read this, you're still young enough to party. Ah, I like that. Oh, look at that one for nurses or doctors. Swan Creek Candle Company. It looks so pretty. 
I have something to tell you guys about the Tyler Company candles. So, I was gifted this candle one year, and let me tell y'all. So, y'all know how they say to not leave your candles unattended? Well, obviously, that's common sense. We get that. But you never, ever imagine that it's actually going to blow up or anything. So, I had this candle, right? I had this candle in my bedroom. Boom, boom, boom. And it was almost about to run out. And this is when I was in college. Well, I'm still in college. But this was when I was living in a dorm and sharing my dorm with other people. Bro, the candle literally caught in flames. And it started, you know, catching in flames, bro. And my stupid, I threw water at it. No, no ma'am. Rule number one, whenever there's a fire, do not throw water at it, okay? Don't do that. That makes it worse, bro. When I tell y'all, I jumped back because that thing went like, it was like I did a magic trick. That thing went, and oh my God. Luckily, the fire went out after that, but that could have gone really, really bad. So after that, I don't want any more Tyler candles because I don't trust those candles. They're not, you know, flammable, safe. I know no candle is, but I've never had that problem with any other candle. They always, whenever it's time for them to, you know, burn and stop burning, they turn off. But no, this one caught on fire, caught on fire. And what if I was in the living room or something? I was so scary. And my stupid, I threw water on it. Don't do that, okay? If there's anything you learned from this video, don't throw water at a fire. <laughs> I think we all knew that. Let me just show you guys the candles that I'm talking about. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, you know, it smells good, but I'm not gonna risk it. And they're also expensive. Which one was the one that I got? I think it was this one. I don't know. This is $15. Yeah, they're not badly priced, but they're not safe, okay? So just letting you guys know, they're not safe. You need this on in your side, and when you see that it's about to go, when it's, when it's about to be done, you turn it off yourself. Don't wait until it turns off by itself because it won't. Scent chips, luxury wax melts. Look at all the options. Yeah, I told you guys it's so seasoning. Look at this. That hockeyflavor.com. Okay, check them out. $12. Look at how beautiful this butterfly light is. How much is this? I'm scared. $57. Not bad. Welcome to Bow Heaven. Ah. I don't know about you guys, but when I was little, I was a bow queen. I was wearing a big, big bow, especially if it was red. Mm. Stamp Sophia all over it. I love, loved, loved ribbons. Ribbons? <laughs> what am I talking about? I used to have this sign as my white wallpaper for the longest. This shop is so cute. And this backpack is everything. But the price, not everything. I forgot how much it was. Let's check it again. They used to have two, so I'm, they must have sold one. Hold on, let me check. So the price for this backpack is $100. Let me know if you would buy that backpack for $100. They also have other backpacks. Look at this for your baby. I love this. It has all the popular Texas stores. Let's see how much this is. $30. Okay. Look. Cute Starbucks cups. Stranger Things. Pumpkin Spice Life and this flower. Look at how cute this is. Just this already, I'm sold. This is like sock land. They have everything you can think of for socks. Weed, SpongeBob, Cheez-Its, the president. And even boxers. If you want to take it a step further, boxers. And more. 
I guess I should get this. Congratulations, you turned my kitchen into a shithole. Factual. <laughs> I saw this after I read it. Disclaimer, this product contains extra sass. Language is used that may be inappropriate for children. Parental guidance is advised. What I don't understand is how come the mannequin always has the cutest clothes, but then when you go look for it, where is it? Because it's not that one, okay? Where is it? Because this is kind of cute. I'm feeling it. But am I going to strip her naked? No. So I just stumbled across these jeans and they're not badly priced, $35 and I like the detail here, the bottom and these buttons. So I want to try these on and see what size is this. So as I look for my size, I just want to say to you guys, if you're on a weight gain or weight loss journey, don't get discouraged by other people, just do it on your terms and ignore whoever has anything bad to say about it, anything negative, they're irrelevant. Like. Even with family, like when I was trying to gain weight and you guys, I know I never really went deep into it, but you guys, if you guys didn't see my ulcerative colitis video, then you should watch that. That's why I was sick for so long. Well, you know, that's something that I couldn't control per se. So I don't know. People just need to be more respectful and not judge people by their weight because you never know if it's something that's medically wrong with them, you know? That's all I wanted to say. I also saw this top. It's kind of cute. How much is this one? $34. Mm. I like the material. It doesn't feel cheap, but for $34 and they don't have a sale, I'm sorry. If I ever have a daughter, she's going to have bow land. She's going to have so many bows, these bows, all kinds of bows. So cute. So I'm in the fitting room and I'm gonna try on those two pairs of jeans, whichever one fits first, and let's see how it looks. I also bought my little sandalias to let's see how it looks with that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get those, but I just wanna see what they look like on, on a mirror. So I didn't realize that they were two separate jean styles because these don't even have the buttons or the things. And this is size three, and this was pretty tight. I mean, they're not bad, but these are not the ones that I wanted. It's those, and luckily, I wanted to make sure that I did get the right style. So these are the right style. Let's see if these fit. Fingers crossed, not gonna lie. It was really hard to put these on, but they're on. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think they're really pretty. I think they're unique. I don't think I've seen anything like this. I love it. And I love this right here because you can unstrap it. Let's do, I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's do that. Let's see how that looks. So, I mean, not like not a crazy difference, but it's cute that you have the option. Should I get it, you guys? Let me know in the comments if you guys like the jeans. I think they're pretty. I think they're out of my comfort zone, and this year, that's what I want to do, so, and see, oh, just look how cute, look how cute they are, I'm not going to show y'all, I'm not going to put my camera down because my toes are not done, but these are cute. Okay, you guys, so I made it home, and I just wanted to show you guys what I got. So, the total for everything was $118.47.
this why don't go out every day let's start off with the shoes so from this brand bernice bernice i got the green sandals that i was showing you guys and i actually met the owner she was really sweet she was like hey you want the box okay, so the shoes are size six look at how beautiful they are look at that green oh my goodness but the details though look at the front of it oh my god look at that it looks designer oh i'm obsessed and these shoes were 28 dollars and i am a size six in all my shoes then the other shoes that i got were these shoes right here these beautiful floral shoes they're so pretty look at that oh my goodness i feel like the camera doesn't do justice on these shoes but these are beautiful it's the details oh my goodness y'all i mean just look at that love the band love right here when you put your big your big toe right here it's beautiful i love that and i don't think i have any shoe like this so definitely wanted to cop these and those shoes were let's see 24.95 and that's all i got for shoes next let's go into clothing i only got one piece which was these jeans that i was telling you guys about i love the details look at these buttons so cute and then in the end towards the end of the jeans you get this and you can adjust it so you can either wear them you know like that or you can kind of have like a loose leg kind of like a 90s vibe going right there so i love that really really pretty and these were 35 dollars and the brand is l-i-t-z l-i-t-z these floral shoes are from the brand jab calzado cartesanal so these are made in mexico oh these are so beautiful that makes me even more happy that i got these these are really pretty last but not least I got a bunch of little things from that little store that we saw at the beginning. So I got this luggage tag. And I know you're thinking, Sophia, you don't even have any, any luggage. I know I don't have no luggage, but when I do, pound, secured. I'm going to know this is mine because Star Wars. R2-D2, okay? R2-D2. Don't play with R2-D2 now. And this tag, this luggage tag to be exact, was $5. And of course, it was made in China. Then for keychains, I got three keychains. Let me show you guys. I am so excited about these keychains. Spice up my keychain. So I got this one. Look. Look at her. Oh, love it. And this was $4. All of the keychains will be $4. And there's other little details too. Look. Oh, love it. Then I got two other ones. I got this one. I had to get it because it was purple. And the shoe, I mean wow and then right here it says forever sports and then last but not least look oh. could you resist i could not resist so i had to get it it's the details stitch love it love it love it all these were four dollars each i got these three croc charms so you the deal was you can get each for 150 or three for four dollars so i got three i got mickey r2d2 which doesn't look too too like r2d2 but i mean good enough for me i bought it i said hey for 150 let's get it and stitch even though i already have stitch i decided to get this one because it's not like your basic stitch this is like halloween stitch i think <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> evil stitch and that is it you guys thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you make sure to check out pantry if there is one near you and that concludes today's video make sure you like comment share subscribe most of all to your mom to your auntie tell everybody okay please let me know what other content you'd like to see from me and that is it for today's video bye